Hello, this is uh, lecture three. It is a continuation uh, in the English grammar for year students, College of Education, uh, Department of English. It is a continuation for the subject uh, semantic roles. We we talked about the uh, top uh, the uh, topical uh, roles of the of the uh, of the subject, and we said that the subject uh, is typically agentive now uh, it is an instrument instrumental subject having uh, uh, an instrumental semantic role now when uh, 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 the subject suppresses inanimate cause of an event or action or it is like the instrument by which the action has been done for example the avalanche destroyed several houses so the avalanche is like the instrument by which several houses have been uh, destroyed uh, the subject can also have an affected semantic role in addition to the typical uh, adjective and the instrument instrumental roles there is the uh, affected semantic role it happens when intransitive verb or extensive verb uh, uh, occur so for example Jack fell down now here the 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 action of of falling down affects Jack Jack which is the subject now the the subject here is affected by that action and that's why we say uh, affected uh, subject or oh, the pencil was lying on the table so what what is it that is lying on the table it is the 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 the, the subject which is the pencil the pencil again the pencil here is the uh, affected subject here there is a clause relation between adjectives or intransitive verbs and transitive verbs with causative meaning so the relationship can be subject which is affective and the verb for example the door opened the door opened here the subject here the subject is affected while in this sentence which is subject uh, whose role is agentive with intransitive verb with intransitive verb for example John or the key opened the door now here the door is uh, 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 affected here the door the door is affected which is object and the object is uh, affected now John is the subject which is uh, John or the key which is the agentive John or the key which is the agentive John agentive the key uh, instrumental uh, opened the intransitive verb and the door the object which is affected then the subject affected with the verb and complement the copular verb and the comp complement now the subject the road the subject the affected subject became which is the copular verb or linking verb became narrower the complement now here it has a relationship with subject agentive the role of the subject here is agentive and uh, verb with uh, uh, of, uh, affected object they narrowed the road now here the road became uh, 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 an affected object uh, then uh, uh, the the, uh, the the verb no, uh, the adjective here narrower became became uh, a verb which is narrowed the third relationship the third relationship is that the subject agentive and the verb 
the subject agentive and the verb for example my dog was walking now my dog is the subject which is agentive and walking is uh, was walking is the verb here the relationship is with subject agentive verb and object affected as well I was walking my dog I was walking my which means I was taking my dog on uh, uh, a walk now the subject can have recipient semantic role in addition to those roles it can have recipient semantic role uh, with verbs like have possess benefit from or the, or or with the perceptual verbs like hear and see for example the boy has a car now here uh, 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 the one who possesses the car is the boy which is the subject which is recipient the semantic role here is the uh, 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 sub of the subject is the recipient or I hear you I hear you or he hears again but with listen and watch or look at the semantic role of the subject is agentive why because there is an action not verbs of uh, 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 perception or verbs of possession listen watch or look here these three verbs can uh, can have uh, uh, the uh, implication of action I am listening I am watching I'm looking at so here the subject is uh, 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 adjective verbs like taste smell and have can have both recipient and adjective subject can have both both uh, 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 semantic roles of the of the subject either recipient when they mean when they denote when they den denote the meaning of uh, 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 perception then then uh, uh, it is a recipient the subject is received when they denote the meaning of action then the subject is going to be uh, agentive for example he tasted the soup now here tasted the soup uh, it is not <coughs> an uh, 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 action it is a matter of perception or when we say I am tasting now I am in the process of tasting now here it is the, the subject is an agentive why because the subject is in a process of uh, tasting now 7.11 uh, the verbs of mental states require a recipient subject the verbs of mental state require a recipient subject what does this mean this means that <clears throat> when we have verbs dealing with mental activities then the subject must be recipient that's it he thought so and so I liked so and so I love you I love him they liked me I don't like and so on and so forth the music gives me a pleasure the subject receives the pleasure when we say I like the music very much so I like so the music gives me the pleasure so I receive the pleasure of the music yes Normally, the recipient subject requires a stative verb which has no passive voice, which means there is no ing form to this stative. So all stative verbs, all stative verbs, uh, are concerned with the recipient subject. Now, uh, other uh, semantic roles for the subject: locative, temporal, and eventive. Locative, which deals with the location of the subject temporal which deals with the uh, 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 time of the subject and eventive the 
uh, event. Now let's take example for each. For example, the bus holds. This is holds. It should be hold. Holds. There's missing D. Forty people. Now the bus here, the subject or the location, and the semantic role of this subject is location. So forty people can sit in the bus. In this case, there is no passive. In this case, there is no passive. Now, the subject can have a temporal semantic role if it refers to time, of course. Uh, tomorrow is my birthday. Now is the meeting. Now here, the subject's role is temporal of time. Related. In this case, of course, the subject can be replaced with empty it. When we have such a semantic role which is temporal now the subject can be replaced with the empty it for example it's my birthday tomorrow it's my birthday tomorrow and so tomorrow belongs to the uh, empty uh, it now what is it empty it what does it mean the subject here the subject may lack the semantic meaning when it is an empty it there's no semantic role for the empty it and that's why it is called empty uh, which happens with the climatic suppressions it is always uh, with the ex 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 uh, climatic suppression uh, it is raining it is noisy it is cold it is hot and so on and so forth as for the locative and the affected object the object is either loc uh, locative or affected not affected affected Pay attention to this, affected or affected. In addition to the affected role of the direct object, which is the typical role, it can have a locative semantic role. For example, the horse jumped the fence, which means over the fence. Now here the fence is the object, but what semantic role does it have? The semantic role of the fence is the location, is the locative semantic role, just like the subject, however it occurs in the uh, object position, and that's why we call it locative object. The direct object can have a cognate, a cognate semantic role when it repeats the meaning of the verb, or it echoes the meaning of the verb for example he sung he he sings us he sings a song he sings a song he slept asleep we call it in arabic uh, so the affected sub uh, object can be a verbal noun pre preceded by verb like do make have take and give this is called affected, not affected. Affected object. For example, he made several attempts. It is verbal uh, uh, noun. Why? Because it, fo uh, 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 it follows uh, uh, the uh, verbs do, make, have, taken. Uh, the prisoner made on, made no command, not on command, no command. This is a spelling mistake it is here no command yes and the cognate object is a type of affected object the cognate object which is he sings a song is a kind of affected object all the indirect objects are recipient that's it all the indirect objects are recipient their semantic roles uh, uh, are recipient but there is one exception which is uh, 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 the uh, indirect object can be affected in terms like give owe, or pay here the object is affected for example I paid her a visit which means I visited her here a visit is an affected object or the object is affected 
if it occurs by virtue of the verb only that is to say the object does not exist if the action is not done this is a very important note for example I am writing a letter so where is the object it, it resulted from the action of writing the verb write that's all for this lecture that's all for this lecture uh, you may find the exercises in the workbook please 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 do study them hard we try to uh, uh, solve all the exercises in the workbook and if there is any question you refer to me online on module or uh, the uh, telegram group thank you very much wait for me for the next lecture uh, the continuation for of the simple sentence